guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Bath & Body Works empties for the month of July. Um, I'm going to start with everything that's not a candle first and I will leave the timestamp below in case you guys only are interested in the candle. So I'm just going to get started as always in no order. So the very first thing I did use up, this is the Mediterranean Blue Waters in the, the body spray. Um, this one was really nice. It's nice and just really like fresh. Um, like a fresh like aquatic scent almost. I like it. Overall though, I don't think I would repurchase it just because um, almost always after I finish the um, body care, I'm usually always just sick of it just because you know it usually takes me a while to get through them. Um, this one is nice. It's just I do think that I would like to prefer to try out other fresh scents instead. So I don't think I would repurchase it, but it is nice if you like the fresh aquatic scents. Um, next up, I have, this is a little pocket bag in Juicy Watermelon. I was curious, so I just felt like removing the lid, so I did. Um, this one's okay. I discovered I'm not really actually much of a watermelon person, so I would repurchase it, but only if I could find it like half off or 75% off. I would not repurchase it just as part of like the five for $8 or whatever now, just because I do prefer other scents better. Next up, I did finish up. This is a lemon pomegranate cream, the shower gel, and the body lotion. This scent was just okay. The scent is pretty old. I've had it in my collection, I want to say like six years, maybe longer. Um, it's just like a really like kind of a generic fruity scent. It's okay. I don't think I would repurchase it. Um, and the, the lotion formula I felt like was getting a little watery, so I know that they don't really go bad or like expire, but it would leave me feeling sticky. So even if I put it on at night, even like the next day when I woke up, I would still just feel sticky. So I thought that that was like a little odd. I don't know if that's just because it's old and the formula went bad or it was going bad or something like that. It wasn't like a huge deal, but it wasn't ideal either. Um, so overall, I would not repurchase this scent, but it wasn't bad. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just over it now. Next up, I do have the Strawberry Pound Cake Body Scrub. This one was awesome. I am obsessed with the smell. It is so good. And the packaging is so adorable as well. Um, normally, I've said it before, I usually prefer the oily scrubs. But actually, this like whipped formula really did feel more whipped than usual. It was really like light and fluffy, but it also still gave a really good um, scrub as well. So I would 100% repurchase this if I could find it. Um, hopefully they bring it back in like the fall, um, the fall one as well and maybe in the same formula. Next up, I did finish up a soap. This is in the Foaming Soap Blueberry Crumble. This one was so delicious. It honestly, it just, it's got everything. It has like the, the bakery note and like the crest note. This one was so good. Um, I would definitely repurchase this. So yeah, I hope that they continue to bring this one back as well. This one was really nice. Um, next up, this is uh, the Salt Soak in Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. This one was good too. Um, this one came out this past Christmas. It's just, honestly, this the blueberry scent from this line is by far my favorite, and it still smells so good. This does leave your skin really soft, so I like that as well. It doesn't really do anything else, so I usually like combine them with like a bath bomb, or in this case, I would combine it with like the bubble bath. Um, I would repurchase this though if it came out, not at full price, because I don't think it's worth $14.50, but definitely if it was on sale. And I really like the scent as well, so I'm glad I have backups of that. Next up, I have the Travel Size White Citrus um, Fine Fragrance Mist. I used to really, really love this scent, like back in the day, but now I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't really think it's like the one for me. It doesn't smell like that good on me. Like no one has ever complimented me when I wear it. And I don't know if you guys do that too, but like to me, like if I get compliments, I'm like, ooh, you know, like I should wear that more often. Um, And to me, it just does not last very long on the skin. So I don't think I would repurchase it, at least not in a fine fragrance mist. Um, so yeah, I do have a couple more in my collection, I believe at least of the travel size, but overall, I don't think I'll repurchase anymore. Um, Next up, this is a eucalyptus spearmint wallflower. This is a pretty old wallflower. Like this isn't the kind where before like they used to have like the pointed ends almost where they couldn't stand up. So this one was really old. Um, usually, you guys know I've said it before, the scent is one of my all time favorites, but this scent almost always performs well. It does always perform well in like pretty much every single form I've ever gotten it in. But for some strange reason, the wallflower was like not strong at all. Like even like from like, after like the first like day or two, I could barely smell it and I had it in my bedroom. So not even like a big area or anything. So I, I thought that was really odd as well. I don't know if it was like my plug going bad or like just like because um like this particular bulb was old, but overall this was a disappointment. Um, I will still continue to purchase Eucalyptus Spearmint Wallflower bulbs because I think that this particular one was just a dud. 
but that was kind of disappointing. Next up, this is flannel in the Car Set Portable. This is currently, um, it was in my car, and then I put it in my boyfriend's car, and I put a different one in my car. This one's really good, actually, and I'm not usually one for the masculine cologne scents at all, but this one was something, I don't know, this one almost has like a cozy aspect to it as well that somehow doesn't give me a headache like most of the other cologne scents. So flannel I really like, especially in the scent portable. It's strong without being overpowering, and it doesn't give me a headache, and it lasts. To me, this is one of the best scent portables, in my opinion, so I will definitely repurchase it. Um, this is a hand soap. This is in the um, oatmeal, apple, and oats. It says it's made with almond milk, the hand soap. This formula was really, really nice. Um, it was definitely, like, creamy, and it definitely didn't dry my hands out as much. I mean, it still does. All Bath & Body Works hand soaps do but not as much as like their usual soaps. I really like this. The scent was really nice as well. It was just like a crisp, fresh apple scent. I would definitely repurchase this if I could find it um, or really just anything in this formula. Um, this is the very last one I have like that, so I would definitely repurchase it. Um, I have two things that are not BBW, but I just thought I would pop them in. Um, you guys know I love Burt's Bees. This is just their classic, um, like the classic chapstick. So I love this. I will always repurchase it. So I can go through those pretty quickly. And then this is very random because I'm not really like a wax person. This, I, I got this from like Michael's or something like that. Like Hobby Lobby. I, I don't know, like a, a random place like that that I was not looking for wax. Um, this is from Living Colors Candles in Lemonberry Scone. The only reason I got it was because it was on clearance for $3. And I just love picking things up and smelling them randomly. So I was like, I'll try this. This was really good. It smells like a, like a lemon dessert. Um, and I put it, I have like the Yankee, like the, the melter, like the milk cup um, centerpiece. So that's how I use this. I just like cleaned out one of the cups and put it in there. And this was actually really strong and lasted quite a while. So I would actually repurchase this and I would recommend this brand if I could find this again. I don't really think I'm going to be getting like super big into wax just because I do prefer candles. But if I could find that particular one, or just other stuff on sale from that brand, I would actually um, consider repurchasing. Now I'm onto my candles. So the very first one I have, this is a warm vanilla sugar candle. Um, this is in the, the single wick, in like the tester size candle. Um, this is really light. I only purchased it because actually, um, um, I'm actually going to have to film the haul right after this. This was even part of the haul, but now it's gone. Um, anyways, yeah, I was able to find this for 75% off. I did pick up two of them. It was really light, even in my bedroom, and usually these perform really well in there, in my opinion. So I don't think I would buy any more once I finish, um, sorry that, you know, like the background's all like wonky because it's dark. Um, anyways, I don't think I would repurchase this once I finish the second one in my collection. It was just too light for me, although the scent is really nice. Um, and I had no issues with the burn, so that was fine. I know I could put it in the bathroom, but I don't know. I, I like those for a bedroom. Anyways, I'm on to the candles. I'm going to start with the candles that perform the best for me and then go into the ones that perform the worst. The first up, this is in Island Margarita. Um, yeah, this just smells like a tropical drink to me. This was really strong. It had no issues the entire burn. Um, I would have purchased this, but yeah, sometimes I already like took out like, well, some of the wax, I guess. <laughs> Um, I would repurchase this, but I am now sick of the scent, and of course I'm already starting to get like geared up for fall and everything like that. So this one was good, but I had no burn issues, and it was really strong as well. So I would recommend that if you're into like fruity, tropical, um, like scents. It's just I'm now like moving on to other things, so I would rebuy it, but not for a while. Next up, this is the Aromatherapy Energy Orange and Ginger. And this one, again, I had no issues with the burn. It was really strong. It was a good, clean burn. The only thing about this one, and I recall really liking this both in the body care and in the home, but for some strange reason, this time, like, when I burned it, it was just, like, a very, like, cleaner orange type of scent. And I used to, like, not really, like, think that when I burned it before. So I don't know, like, like my scent preferences are changing. Overall, though, I would not repurchase really this in the candle. There was nothing wrong with it. It was just a bit too, like, cleaner-ish for, like, me, personally. Um, I, I don't know. So I don't think I would repurchase that, at least not in the body care or in, um, uh, not in the candle. Sorry, the body care I will continue to. Next up, I have pineapple mango. Again, this one is another one that smells like a true a fruity, like tropical type drink. Reminds me of like, you know, like when you're on vacation somewhere at the beach. Um, this one's really nice. Honestly, this is probably my very favorite 
tropical candle. Again, it performed really good. Um, strong burn, good wicks, no issues there. I would repurchase this again. This was a good one. Next up, I have, this is the Peach Sugar Cone. The packaging is so cute on this too. This one was okay. I'm not really like a peach person, but sometimes they appeal to me, especially if it's not straight up peach. This one is like peach with like, um, like a little hint of like a bakery or like a vanilla in it. Um, it doesn't even say it has vanilla. It says peach praline and sugary crunch, crunchy sugared cone. It was okay. At about like the halfway point, I started to get sick of it. So I don't think I would repurchase it, but there was nothing against like this particular scent. It's just, I'm not usually big into peach scents. So it's just like one and done for me is good. That one did also start to have puny wig syndrome at about the halfway point as well. So, but we all know how Bath & Body Works candles are. Next up, this is a unicorn sprinkles from the same packaging. Again, it's super cute. This one just smells like, like straight up like a candy, cotton candy type of scent to me. Um, okay, so this one was weird. First of all, it did have puny wig syndrome at about the halfway point. Um, in the beginning though, so I live in like a fairly small apartment. In the beginning though, like this scent was like pretty light up until like almost, it was pretty much until it was almost gone. So like even more than the halfway point. Like I had this all just in the house trying to like get like a better throw from it and everything like that. And most of the time I couldn't really smell it very well. And then I would like put it in my bedroom. Then for like the last like three or four burns of the candle, suddenly it was like super like alive with all this fragrance and everything. And then I had to bring it out into the house because it was almost like too strong for my bedroom. So it was almost like it was weak in the beginning and then like it got like a kick at the end. Um, I don't think I would repurchase it. Again, there was nothing wrong with it. It's just I do prefer other scents instead, but I am glad that I tried it. Um, Next up, this is the Sun Drenched Linen. This is one of my favorites again. Um, yeah, I always purchase this. I always want to have it around. It just smells exactly like crisp, fresh laundry, and it's so strong and so good, and it just is so refreshing. Um, this one did also have puny wig syndrome, but again, at around the halfway point, this one was really strong as well. I would highly recommend this one. I love it so, so much, and I will always continue to repurchase it. And then the very last item and candle I have, this is in the Raspberry Tangerine. Um, this has like the really pretty like wrap around label and the really pretty lid as well. This one was just okay. Like I feel like it got a lot of hype and of course there's nothing wrong with it or anything. It's just to me, I smell more like tangerine than raspberry. And is again, there's nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't very special. And um, I just started to get sick of it and everything. And it also wasn't very strong. Like I could detect it in my house but it wasn't nearly as strong to me as most of my Bath & Body Works candles are. So um, it was just okay. But that could, you know, just be because I'm like starting to get over all of my um, summer stuff. So um, stay tuned because right after this, I'm going to be filming a Bath & Body Works smallish haul. Um, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.